Hey YouTubers, it's Sam again, and today I'm going to show you how to get the Nestor J Super Nintendo ROM onto your PSP. Now, uh, basically what the Nestor J Nintendo ROM is, it has 100 Super Nintendo games on it, such as Super Mario Brothers and many other games. Okay, so before I begin, I just want to say, um, when you're commenting on my video, Please, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say it. And um, if, and especially if you use any sort of language, I will block you out and remove your comment. So don't use any language, and because uh, it's just pointless. Because then I'll just remove it and I'll block you out. So it's completely pointless. So um, I just wanted to say that, and now I'm going to begin. Okay. So the things you're going to need to do this, you're going to need one, a USB cord that can plug into your PSP and into your computer, oh, or just some kind of uh, memory stick adapter. Second of all, you're going to need just uh, a PSP, well, you're going to need a hacked PSP which with custom firmware. So make sure you have a hacked PSP with custom firmware. And uh, third, you're going to need WinRAR. Now if you do not have WinRAR, Simply look in the video description. The video description is over there on your right. And simply click on the second link in the video description. Not the first link, but the second link. Okay, so once you have WinRAR, you're going to click on the first link in the description and download the Nintendo ROM. So click on the first link in the description, and it should take you to a page that looks like this. Okay, so it's going to be a mega upload page. So once you're on the Mega Upload page, simply go in the corner and type in that little code. Now when you type in this code, make sure you do it in lowercase letters. And then, so it can't be capital letters. Make sure you do it in lowercase letters and then click download file. Okay, so once you're on this page, uh, if you do not have a Premium Mega Upload account, simply click regular download. And uh, you may have to wait 60 seconds or so before you can click it. But once you can, just click it. And it won't take that long to download it. It'll take probably two or three minutes to download. Okay, so I already downloaded it. So I'm not going to download it. But, okay, so once it's downloaded, you'll get, if you have WinRAR, then you'll ha get something like this. Now what you're going to do is right-click on it and click Extract Here. So it'll extract the files, and it'll put it somewhere on your desktop. Oh, and I forgot to say, when you download it, um, make sure you download it onto your desktop. Okay, so once you extract it, you'll get this uh, folder that says Nestor J. Simply, so basically this is going to be the folder that goes in your PSP. So, next thing you do is get your PSP and plug it into USB mode. So let me plug my PSP into USB mode really quick. Okay, so as you can see, I plugged it in, and it's plugged into my PSP. Then you just turn on your PSP. Um, I was playing the game. Okay, so go to your home menu, and uh, go to USB connection. Go to settings, and then go to USB connection. Okay, so once you're on USB mode, simply... Uh, so, you're on USB mode, so go back on your computer, and uh, then this little window should pop up, and all you do is you scroll down, and you click on the one that says, open the folders to view files, or something like that. Now, if this window does not pop up, if that window that I just showed you does not pop up, simply go to my computer, see, so go to start menu, my computer, and then uh, go, it, it should say like r inside my computer, it'll say removable disk or PSP with a letter right next to it or something like that. Okay, so basically once you're on your the root of your memory stick, you're going to open up the PSP folder, and then you're going to open up the game folder. And then, as you can see, I already have the Nestor J folder in there. 
but basically what you would do is you would, sorry, basically what you would do is uh, grab the Nestor J folder, grab it, and drag it, and drop it into the PSP game folder. Or you can copy paste it, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so once you do that, all you're going to do is, uh, sorry about that, you're going to want to exit off, and then get off USB mode, and then go down to memory stick. On Under game, you want to go down to memory stick. And since I put this in a while ago, it's somewhere down towards the bottom. But when if you if you just put it in, it'll be like at the top. Okay, so basically this is what it should look like. Um, all you do to start it is press X, and then inside is all the ROMs. And to start one of the ROMs, you just press O. It's basically like the standard Nintendo controls instead of the PSP controls. So the default button when you're on the ROM is going to be O. And then if you want to get back on your home menu, you just simply click home and then yes, I want to quit the game. And then it'll take you back to the home menu. Okie dokie. Okay, well I hope that helped. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And like I said, please do not use any foul language. Because if you do, I will remove your comment and block you out. And uh, it's just pointless. And it's just a waste of time. So please don't use any lang uh, foul language. And um, feel free to ask any questions. Please subscribe. And hope you have a nice day.